Okay, it's time to talk about cranial nerve number nine, the glossopharyngeal nerve. So it originates in the medulla and passes out through the what? The jugular foramen. And what else passes out through the jugular foramen? The vagus. And it is a mixed nerve. So the motor is to the stylopharyngeus, which elevates the pharynx. And what is it sensory to? The pharynx, tonsils, and posterior one-third of the tongue. Remember, it's the posterior one-third of the tongue. Don't get it confused with the seventh, which is the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. And parasympathetic fibers to what? The, par the parotid gland, parotid gland. So remember, taste fibers are from the posterior one-third of the tongue. Okay, so uh, a glossopharyngeal nerve clinical correlate uh, with damage to this nerve, there would be the loss of the gag reflex, and you'd have anesthesia to the posterior one-third of the tongue, and anesthesia to the wall of the oropharynx. And glossopharyngeal neuralgia manifests itself as a severe pain beginning in the throat, radiating along the side of the neck near the anterior part of the auricle and posterior aspect of the mandible. So if you see clinical signs like this on the test, you know that it is cranial nerve number nine.